You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. That you showed up was written in my palm. You are a statement that explodes like a bomb. I get to push myself to victory. You make me win. You cut me loose and set me free. Hi everybody, welcome back. We have the next MTB Pro unboxing. Now we're in August, so let's check out what's in the box. <clears throat> All right guys, last month as you know, they redeemed themselves. They came back with a much better box than the month before. And I'm gonna say they did it again. This is another fantastic box. It's got some great lures in it. So let's open it up and see what we got with the diddle. First up, we have the Weston Danny the Duck. Yep, it's a duck. Basically like any frog you've ever seen. However, it's an actual duck. It's a duck. Um, I'm actually looking forward to throwing this. This is going to be kind of fun. A uh, little baby duck. Um, it's actually a really soft body. I mean, you can see how those hooks just pop right up. I think this is going to be great. Um, beautiful little guy. Made by Weston. And it's Danny. So we're going to try and use Danny soon. Because, yep, guess what's next? The MTB Pro Challenge. It's next. Keep your eye out for the video. Next we have the Baker's Lure Topwater Popper. I love, as you guys probably know if you follow the channel, I love topwater poppers. One of my favorite things to throw. And this one's a little different. It's a nice little small guy, little dude. Boom. Um, but he's, ow, ow, WTF, mate. Uh, little guy. So love the colors on it. It's got the white belly, the yellow sides shad material. Uh, I think this is a good hook, good lure. Uh, actually really, really cool. The weight seems actually heavy for being so little. Uh, quarter ounce, so not too bad. Two and a half inches long. Should catch a decent amount of fish with this. And my light just went out. That's okay. You guys can still see me. Next up, we have the Strike King Rage Tail Twin Tail Menace Grubs. Boom. Found them. Rage Tail. I mean, come on, guys. If you don't know who the Rage Tail by now, you're screwing up. But these guys are basically little grubs, dual tail. You pop this bad boy apart, and it's got that double action. Great little choice. Looks like this is going to be a watermelon green, or not watermelon green, a uh, green pumpkin. But I hate when they don't list what the color is. Coffee scent. <laughs> Pretty cool, but don't see the color. Babe? Yeah? I'm one-handed. Would you come in? Will you to, um, take the trash out? Sure. Thanks. Back to the box. So, looks like green pumpkin to me. I think these look great. Um, has a little bit of blue purple in there, so good choice. I'll, uh, I think these are going to be great on the back as a trailer, or you could even probably use these uh, Texas rigged. Gonna be a great little lure of choice. Next, we have the Big Bites Swimming Minnow Jerk. Huh, this is smart. Big Bites finally made their bags a little bit smaller, which makes sense for, you know, something this size. Uh, last time I got a Big Bites thing, it was also a swim bait style, little paddle tails, and it looks like they are very similar yet again. They uh, got a nice little belly on them, which is kind of cool. Should help it keep 
it down in the water, similar to a paddle tail. Uh, it's got the piece on top here so the hook can stick out. This is gonna be great for a trailer, yet again on a spinnerbait, uh, really whatever you wanna throw it on, spinnerbaits or chatterbaits or something along those lines. Uh, really good plastic, it feels really, really strong. And it smells like plastic, so nothing wrong with that. Um, both, the downside with uh, ever getting plastics in one of these boxes are almost always sample packs. So this one's a four piece, this one's a four piece, but you're, these are trial pieces really, right? The, it, it's okay. And especially with what's coming up in the box. Mm. Next up, we have the Bagley Shallow Balsa Shad. I feel like we've gotten these before in MTB boxes. Um, this specific one nonetheless, but it's a good lure all the same. And it looks really good. It looks like a shad. Uh, this is going to dive a little bit in the water, get a real good wobble going with this almost like square bill style front it has. If you can see that, can you refocus? There we go. Uh, little flat bill looking piece ish thing. This is going to get down in there, wobble real wide. Does it have and it's got some rattles in it. So, uh, semi-clear water, but uh, you should be able to use this in most conditions and still catch fish, so. All right, all right, not bad, not bad. Next, we have the Max Lure Square Bill. I love square bills, I love throwing square bills especially when they have chartreuse on them, which this one does. This one's got some great color to it. Uh, definitely looks shad-like with that chartreuse. It's gonna work phenomenal in clear water. It's also gonna do well in dirty water because of the white body, the square bill on it. I uh, wonder what the depth is on this bad boy, does it say? It does not say. I always like it when they tell you what the depth is because you have to kind of guess. My assumption is going to be that this is going to be about two, three, four feet, somewhere in that range, especially with this bill on here. It's kind of a good size. So, square bill. Love square bills. I mean, that's already three hard baits, a top water majigger, and some soft plastics. MTB. And we still have more to go. Yeah, yeah, you heard me. More to go. Next up, we have the rear loader swim jig. Rear loader swim jig? Doesn't really look like a swim jig to me. Basically what this is, <clears throat> is a football head jig that you can attach any type of bait to. Look at this little swing head here. This is perfect. Um, great option for throwing creature baits, and things like that. For me, this is perfectly in my wheelhouse. Creature bait is my comfort bait. I go to that type of thing all the time. Uh, specifically, I like to throw the yum woolly bugs and green pumpkin. I get bit everywhere I go on that bad boy, and I love it. Um, so this is gonna be something that I'm gonna be able to throw and get through rocks and get through all sorts of stuff, and that bad boy is just gonna float there. And this is something I'm really excited to throw. This is gonna be something I throw really, really soon. Uh, and you could probably even use that twin tail bad boy with this and still get bites. So that's pretty great. And next up is a couple cool things. We always get a sticker. Stickers are hype, like no doubt. You always get, I love stickers. But last but not least, we have a scratch and win. <sighs> yeah, scratch and win. Do I have anything to scratch it off with? Hmm. Can we scratch off with the square bill? No. How about the popper? Ooh, yep, popper will work. So I have won some free shipping. That's pretty dope. So I'm gonna go use this code to get some more free shipping. So not only did I get all these baits and all this cool stuff from MTB, including a popper that also works as a scratcher, I got free shipping on my next order. Get out of here.
Get out of here. MTB. You're, you're back on my good list. If I was Santa Claus, you'd be getting presents. Just saying. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, stay tuned, because I have an MTB challenge coming up next. All this week, I'm going to be working on it. So, until next time, guys. But first, make sure you leave a comment down below. Tell me what lure you like and is your favorite out of this box. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, guys, hit the like button. And happy foozin'.